I think central bankers are the very positive story of the last 10 years. They, they've had to step into the breach when, <clears throat> when the political sector or fiscal policies were not really undertaken to uh, stimulate economies and the central bankers, because they're independent, were able to act very quickly and decisively to bring monetary and unconventional monetary policy to stabilize the global economy. This and, is very and they're, they're seen as kind of the heroes. This is very much in your wheelhouse, but let's talk, uh, and we've just popped up, look at that, they read my <laughs> mind, passive continues to outperform V's active. Um, there is a distrust of active fund management at the moment and people I think have finally called time on the view that individuals who run these funds can outperform the market but was that just a a unique period that we've just experienced where interest rates were lowered across the board markets have generally gone up in tandem and so actually passive has been the right play but will it be the right play through the next the next market cycle I'm not in the prediction business but uh, active uh, investment in typically in high, has higher costs, uh, higher trading costs, there's more, more turnover which increased costs, <clears throat> there's higher uh, fees being paid to the investors or to the managers themselves. Whereas the, the passive is a, has, doesn't have the trading costs with it, it doesn't have the same kind of in, in expenses involved in it. So the active investing is almost in a way starting off with a little bit of a disadvantage because of the kind of fees that are involved in it. And I think that that's going to be one of the revolutions that's going to take place in active management. I think we're going to see a big shift in the way active management is, is handled. The fees are going to change. There should be a lot of consolidation in the industry. And I think the, the revenue model and the, the kinds of models that are used are going to be different to compete with, with uh, passive in investing. How different? <coughs> what models? Uh, we're going to see the, t the type of models where people are not uh, worrying about a superstar. Uh, there, there should be more quant investing, uh, robo-advisors. There, there's going to be the, the entire information revolution that's taking place across all different walks of the economy are also going to start uh, coming into retail investing strategies.